Welcome back, Canva fans. My name is Lynnet Chandler from Thrive Anywhere. For the past lessons, we've been going over how you can build a no-code funnel, step-by-step -step using Canva to build your web pages. They are in the How to Create a Funnel in Canva playlist. In the last lesson, we talked about using Zapier to tie everything together. Zapier is reliable and easy and most widely known, but it can also be expensive and may not be in your budget. Thankfully, we have other options. These are not the only ones out there, but they will help you get going. The first alternate option for Zapier is something I use called Integrately. Integrately does not have a free plan, but you get more with their plans compared to Zapier. Starting at the $29.99 a month level, you'll get 2,000 tasks instead of the 750 tasks that Zapier gives you. You also get your tasks to run faster every five minutes compared to Zapier's every 15 minutes on their starter plan. Let's look at how you'll set up Integrately for our use case. On the dashboard, first choose the app you want to start with. In our case, that would be Google Sheets. Remember, the goal is to send a subscriber to our mailing list each time someone fills out our form which updates a Google Sheets file. Click on Google Sheets. If it's not right on the top here, you can do a search to bring it up. Next, select the app we want to connect with Google Sheets. I use Active Campaign, so I'll click that. Or you could use the search feature to look up the service you use. Once you do that, it will give you a few suggested automations below. None of these is what I am looking for, so I will have to scroll down to build one of my own. On the left column, select Spreadsheet Row is created in Google Sheets. On the right column here, I will choose Create or Update Contact. Let's pause here for a minute. In the last video, I mentioned what you select on the right side will depend very much on the service you use. You'll want to go through all the options and choose the right one or the one you think will work. Or you could ask your email service. Click Go. Next, it'll ask which Google account I want to use. If this is a new account or you never connect it to Google, you'll have to connect it first. I've done this before, so I will go back to select an account. Let me click on the right one. On this screen, we'll select the correct file. If you have a lot of files like I do, you can search to pull it up. It helps to know the file name. Then you select the tab that's inside the spreadsheet. Click Continue. Select the email service you use or connect one if you haven't done so. Click No, we only need the simple automation. The next part is very important. Integrately has already matched the email column in our form to the email field on my email service. I collected the first name, so I'll find and click the name field. I did not collect a phone number, but it thinks the row number is the phone. That happens sometimes. You only need to delete if it's wrongly assigned. Because I like to tag subscribers based on what they bought or where they came from, I'll select a tag here. And select the list you want people to be subscribed to. All this is not necessary or relevant, so I'll click Test and Turn On. Great, the automation is fully set up. Now it's time to test it. To do that, we go to our landing page. 
click the button that takes us to the opt-in form. Enter some data. That to integrately check on the history to see if anything happened yet. Looks like something did. The automation ran once according to this chart. Check an active campaign. I see the user has been added successfully. The email is being sent out. All is well. The email will direct people to your thank you upsell page. If they take the offer, you'll send them to your shopping cart, and if they don't, they'll access the delivery page. That's how you do it with Integrately. If you like this video or found it helpful, be sure to like the video and subscribe to our channel on YouTube so others can also find this and be helped. Thank you.